Jimmy Dillon, back with more acoustic blues. You know, I wanted to get into some minor blues, and I chose the key of A minor. Now, normally when we're in A minor, we can do just a straight up, this kind of thing, right? These positions. But I wanted to do something a little bit different with a kind of a blue jazz tone to it. And this one, I'm going to play a few times for you and let you get used to hearing it. And then I'm going to break it down into a split screen, and we're going to take our time, go through each move, each lick, and show you how it goes. And I hope you like it because it's something a little bit different than your average blues, uh, a road less traveled as it were. So let's go down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you how I do this and I'll give you a couple of outlines to begin with and then we're gonna tear it apart and take it slowly. So my first, I, I keep that open A going as we often do in the blues where we have kind of a dead, a dead thumb going. In this case, it's really a shuffle, it's a slow shuffle and we keep that, okay, and again, I'm going to break this down shortly and show it to you, but to give you a feel for the changes I'm doing, I'm doing what looks like a B minor, you got an A minor here, but it's up here, and that position against an A sounds kind of cool, it goes, okay, so I am getting to that A minor, now what you can also do, and I'm going to show you how I do it, you can go, so that's a similar, different voicing, but you'll see how it all works together. And then I'm going to go to the D string as my target note, and I'm going to do an E minor position. So you know a D minor is here, so if you go up two, and kind of an F, almost an F, uh, which I also open E, I open up that E sometimes, almost sounds like a Led Zeppelin kind of blues, doesn't it? So you see you got that, keep that shuffle going, and then back to your first position, and go ahead up. Now I go to an E minor 7th. So you can utilize, you have the luxury of that low E note. And I might chromatically walk down to a D, so, D minor 7th. And then I jump to an interesting chord, it's kind of a G sus, which is sort of a, has a jazz flavor, so you can see how that is. And I'm, again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you a close up of that with a split screen, and you can see what both my hands are doing in a second. And then you're back to your, your root. Now you'll notice, first thing, before I even go any further, that I am doing sort of a claw hammer style in that I'm, I'm pinching. So I got my thumb. And then what I'll do is I'll throw a few licks in, and we're going to tear those apart as well. Get fancy as you want. back up to that. And there's that kind of police chord, which I like as a setup back to your root. So you'll notice I was having some fun playing around. You can just hang out there too. So what I'm going to do now is, now that I've shown you the basic progression, which is, see that's your four, back to your one, you get your five, four, and then the G sus. What that does, it sort of sets up that whole mood, which is again a sort of a different kind of blues. It's got a little bit of jazz in it, but I like it. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and do a split camera, 
and I'll give you a close up of my left hand and my right hand. You're going to see what they're doing. And we're going to tear this whole thing apart and I'll show you some hot little looks to throw in there. So here we go. Okay, so let's break that down, shall we? You see now that I'm, you see I've got my dead thumb going. There's our bass player, right? Okay, and then you got my, uh, like a B minor position here. Okay, so I'm going from there to, so you can see that okay, right? The B minor position there to an A minor position. So that's the way you get up to it. notice that I'm, if you're seeing my right hand, you notice I'm pinching. And this is finger style. That's how you get that sound. You could go, you could do it with a pick. And that's fine too. Some of you guys like to use a pick as opposed to finger style. I personally like finger style on this one. I like the voicing. Then you go up here. That's almost like you're making a D chord, right? A C chord, even though it really it's that's, that's the vibe, okay? You know what a C chord looks like, but in this case, it sounds like a minor. So, there's another voicing, alternate voicing, but it's kind of nice because if you're playing this as an instrumental. working off these notes. A minor pentatonic and A minor. Kind of a cage thing. So if you work off those notes, and sometimes I sing along. this interesting then you go to your D note which is your target note is your D string there right and you got this position which I showed you earlier hopefully you can see that clearly looks just like a D minor but up to right which makes it an E minor of sorts second position okay and then you go to a second position F it looks just like a D but here right now what I like about this one Cheat that little E note in there. See how I pick up that high E string? And I like that because it takes it out of a, a boring blues into a more interesting blues. So you're going to go to your 5 chord. I don't like that one. I like this one. E minor 7th. We all know that one, right? There it is. And then if you want to do a typical blues walk down, kind of dramatic. And then from that, that's your 4 chord, right? Now you go to your G sus with an F in it. There's your F. That's what gives it that sound. You can do a regular, but I like the sound of this. And what that does is it sets up your, your root chord. And it gives a little mystery to it, I think. So let's hear what it sounds like and looks like uh, under, uh, basically you have a close up of both hands and I'm just gonna play through it a couple times. And while I do, I'm going to uh, play some licks in between of the connective tissue, as we call it, and you'll see how it all goes. So here we go.
was I doing there? Okay. So what I was doing was I was I was getting a little bit free with this. I like the way it goes from a and I picked up a harmonic. So you got that A minor harmonic, so you can do that. You know those two are in there. So you can use your harmonics there. So. that A minor, right? But I have to do uh, just some licks you can do. I'm just doing two string licks here. And here's another one that's cool. Which is nothing more than this. Okay, you got a, basically an, uh, an E and an A, but if you do it on the G string, it sounds cooler. Eagles use that a lot. Tom Petty, too. Then go to your second inversion. Everybody's got that by now. And then down to your... I just kind of picked up a I'm working off of a D minor there anything like that or you can go up here work off your D but the thing is if you're playing acoustic you want to not stray too far because you're accompanying yourself, I assume, on... That's why I like that open E. I can cheat a couple little licks. I don't stray too far from my root. That's nice as a... That's nice as a completion to that. And you're about ready to hit your four chord or your five chord. See how that leads into it? So if I'm down here doing my root. All those notes work here. Then you might want to go up to this one. signals a change. There's that important G sus with an F in it. And that sets up back to your root.
you know, and improvise a little. just improvising but I'm gonna give you a little bit of breakdown because I did a lot of different licks there uh, one of the things I did was I did some lower stuff that I want to go through with you that's some very kind of nasty blues stuff just working off my E string and my A string E to, e to G A to C that you can experiment with that yourself strings. Take you back to your root. So when you're on that four chord, you can work on the same way you did with your A, with your A chord. See where I'm on my four chord there? my A and D string. Your Clapton do that a lot with the hammer-ons. Back to the one. Now when you're back on that one, of course you have all these Pentatonic, minor pentatonic. See how I jumped that string? I love doing that in acoustic blues where I'm hitting an open A string, jump up to a high E on the A string. So you can get real free with this kind of stuff. want to just make a loop of it or if you have a friend have somebody just play this and then every once in a while just stay there for a while it's a great jam thing and when you're ready to change A minor there, right? 
You know that A minor? I'm just choking it. So what I'm really doing here is I'm, I'm throwing in some classic blues licks with a kind of a jazzy progression. And of course I like that, I like that E seventh, E minor seventh, which you can hit the harmonic with. Now I'm raking my fingers there. I'm doing a lot of stuff here, so it's hard to... I'm using my skin on my thumb to get a soft... That's for a dynamic touch, right? You can see where I'm... I play with a guy named uh, Oscar Castro Neves that was a Brazilian guitarist, and I, he did a lot of this kind of stuff with his fingers or his thumb. Because, you know, if you're doing it, I'm using my nails, or you might be using a pick too, but if you're doing claw hammer like I'm doing here, sometimes it's nice to have a soft touch with your skin, okay, for dynamics. And then the other thing is I rake those harmonics. Now, of course, granted, you're going to need nails to do this, although you can do it with just your fingers too. But see how the dynamics go when you go... You're going to go to your uh, five chord. And then I go, here I go. And then I dig into that G. And the whole point here is, you know, I talk about touch, tone, time, and taste. Those are the four T's, so when we go into that five chord, if I do something soft, it's gonna dynamically you know, give it a flavor and then rake that high harmonic. We even do that first, where you're going. Okay, right now I'm going to do a full performance of this piece, and I'm going to do everything I showed you, full camera, full shot, and see what happens. minor blues. My friend Jimmy has the coolest guitar lessons. Go to jimmydillon.com slash free and get all your amazing gifts.
He's the best. Wrong. Rock and roll. Stay awesome. Rock and roll. Hey, thanks for watching the video. And you know what would mean a lot to me if you'd hit the subscribe button above and then hit the bell notification for new videos when they come out.